Hi, I'm Anil Kumar and now we are going to discuss a very important question. The question here is, a parabola passes through the points 3, 5 and also through 5, 5 and is stretched by a factor of 2. Determine a possible equation in vertex form. Draw a sketch if necessary. Now this is a very interesting question. I'd like you to pause the video, answer and then look into my suggestion. It's a thinking and communication question for you. Let's read it once again. A parabola passes through the points 3, 5 and also through 5, 5 and is stretched by a factor of 2. Determine a possible equation in vertex form. So in vertex form the equation will be y equals to a times x minus h whole square plus k. Okay, so that is equation in vertex form where the vertex is at h k, right? And a is your stretch factor. We are already given a is equals to 2. That is given to us. And we are given one more information. That is, it passes through two points, 3, 5 and 5, 5. How does that help you to find the equation? This is what you have to think. So you can pause the video now, answer the question and then look into my suggestion. Well, let us sketch. So we also have draw a sketch. That's a hint. When you sketch, you will get an idea. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll just kind of sketch it. So what we are given here is that there are two points, 3, 5 and 5, 5. So let us say this is, uh, let me just roughly draw my lines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So let me just do this. And then 5 is the height, so let's do like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. So we have two points, 3, 5. So 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we are given 5, 5. That means 5, 5 is right there. So these two points are on the parabola. And then we are given a stretch factor of 2. So how does that help you to draw the parabola? Stretch factor. So let me draw two more lines just to give you a hint, right? So when we say st stretch factor, normally we have steps like what? The steps for a parabola are 1, 3, 5, 7, like this, times a. Do you see that? Now, since 2 is my stretch factor, next point, if I move 1 unit to the right, then where do I get? My stretch factor is 2. Do you see that point? So, instead of 1, I will move 2 units. That's the idea, right? So you are moving two units to the right, correct? So how does it work out? So basically what we can do is, this graph could have a maximum or a minimum, right? So it could open like this or it could go like this, correct? Since we are saying stretch factor, let us assume that we need to find the peak and which is one unit away. How do we know that? We know it because these two points given to us are at the same level. So they are at the same level. Do you see that? Axis is going to be right there in the center. That is the axis. So when you have two points, let me go through this once again. We are given two points and the points given to us are, let's look at it. Points are 3, 5 and 5, 5. So you must have noticed by now that the y values are same, right? Therefore, the axis should be where? Axis has to be midway between them. So x value for the axis is average of x values. That means 3 plus 5 divided by 2 or 8 divided by 2 or 4. So at 4, we have the axis. So x equals to 4 is the axis. So on the axis, we are expecting what? Maximum or minimum. Do you understand? So if we assume 2 as positive, that means the point on the axis should be 2 units below this point. right? So 
So let's go two units below. So that should be the point. Do you understand? So we have a parabola which is going to open like this. Do you get the idea? So now we know the vertex. The vertex for us, for us is what? Let me write down. The points given were 3, 5 and 5, 5. So this is 3 for us and that is 5. X is 4 and that is 5. 2 units down means our vertex is at 4 and y value is 3. Do you get the idea? So from here we get our equation. Equation is y equals to a is 2 for us, right? x minus x is at 4 whole square and k value is 3 for us plus 3. So that becomes the equation, right? I hope you have understood the steps involved in getting to this equation. Now let's look back into what we did. Read the question once again. A parabola passes through the points 3, 5 and also through 5, 5 and, it's, and is stretched by a factor of 2. Determine a possible equation in vertex form. Draw a sketch if necessary. So whenever you are given two points with same y value, in that case we can straight away find x's. So the first step should be to find x's. So y, y values are same. So that gives you a hint. Average of x values. This is what we did. Now when you have the x's, you know that the vertex will be on the x's. Assume, now in this particular case, the axis was just one unit away, so it was kind of simpler for us. Since it was one unit away and we were given the stretch factor of 2, it was kind of simpler for us to get to the equation. Right? We'll take up another example where that will not be the case and then see how to find the equation. Correct? But in any case, what you can understand from here that in general, you can find the equation since these two points give you the axis or one of the parameters which is h for sure correct we already know a because we know it is 2 right since we know 2 and a we can always find k correct so that is how you should be actually working on this i hope that helps thank you and all the best